Hey church family, I wanted to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement as we continue to watch the end times unfolding right before our very eyes. Now, as I continue to consider the great apostasy which is going to take place prior to the rapture of the church, you know, I can't help but to remember the warning that the Lord Jesus presented to the lukewarm church, which was there in Laodicea. Uh, this warning is actually found in Revelation chapter 3. Uh, there Jesus declares, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing. And do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Christian, listen, the Lord Jesus is clearly unimpressed with lukewarm disciples. One reason why is due to the fact that the lukewarm disciple is more interested in worldly wealth and creature comforts than they are with living a life that is actually bringing glory to God. And with that being the case, we shouldn't be surprised to learn that the lukewarm church is actually a Christless community uh, which is more interested in personal glory than the glorification of the Lord. Uh, in order to prove my point, let's continue to consider the word of warning that Jesus presented to the church there in Laodicea. Uh, again, it's Revelation chapter 3 where Jesus goes on to declare this. He says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, therefore be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. Well, now, let's think about this for a moment. If Jesus is standing at the door of this church and knocking, and what this means is that the Lord Jesus wasn't the central focus of the church there in Laodicea. Oh, that, you know, don't get me wrong. They were gathering together, and, and it's my guess that, you know, they were showing up and singing songs, and I have no doubt that they had a motivational teacher who was entertaining them with incredible stories. Meanwhile, Jesus was standing outside knocking on that door. Sadly, there are many churches in the world today who are following in the footsteps of the church there in Laodicea. They're making the same mistakes as the lukewarm church. They gather together, they have incredible music programs and skits and motivational lessons about life and love and so on and so forth. And, and they're so impressed with the ministry that they've created that they fail to realize that Jesus is actually standing outside knocking on the door of their church. There are so many signs that show us that the church here in America is neither cold nor hot. Uh, one example of this, uh, well, uh, it's seen in the surveys that show that biblical illiteracy uh, of the average Christian is off the charts. For example, uh, a series of Barna surveys show us that less than 20% of self-identified born-again Christians actually hold to the simplest elements of a basic biblical worldview. How sad is that? And, and as a result, the modern church is now filled with Christians who aren't able to spot the apostasy happening within their own church. If they were to uh, see apostasy happening right before their, their very eyes, they wouldn't recognize it. And the reason why is because they don't really have a biblical worldview view themselves. It's in this atmosphere and in this climate of biblical illiteracy that the enemy is then able to send false teachers into the church who come and tickle our ears with feel-good fables which sound right to the fallen hearts of men and yet those who are being duped by doctrines of demons they fail to realize that they're actually being led astray by the pied pipers who deceive us with their deceptive song. With that being the case it's crucial for every Christian to realize that uh, these wolves in sheep's clothing they look like sheep. When a wolf puts on sheep's clothing, they look like sheep. And yet underneath the facade, they are ravenous wolves. And while they have no problem invoking the name of Jesus Christ, it's, it's you know, important to understand that a simple examination of their theology, well, it only goes to show that they're actually presenting us with a different Jesus. I'll remind you that the Lord Jesus even warned us about these false teachers who would rise up during the last days, and, and they, according to Jesus, would deceive, if possible, even those who are elect. As a matter of fact, it's in Matthew chapter 24 where Jesus declares this. He says, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. 
for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. Christian, listen, there are false teachers in the church today who are presenting us with a Christ who doesn't line up with the Jesus that we actually find in the Bible. Therefore, we must test every teaching. We must be like the Bereans who search the scriptures every day in order to make sure that what Paul was teaching was correct. They wanted to make sure that Paul was rightly dividing the word of truth because they didn't want to get caught up into heresy. And as we consider what the Bible says about the last days, we shouldn't be surprised to learn that there are mega church movements in the world now that, that are using uh, you know million dollar budgets to produce church services that are exciting and entertaining and emotional. And yet, in the midst of this professional performance, they're failing to recognize that Jesus is actually outside knocking on the door looking for someone to let him in. Christian, listen, the Lord Jesus isn't impressed with the amazing productions of lukewarm churches. No, instead, Christ Jesus simply wants to have a simple communion with those who trust in him. He wants to have just a, a simple relationship with those who truly worship him in spirit and in truth. And it's for this reason that the Lord Jesus told the Christians there in Laodicea, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. Listen, if you've become a lukewarm Christian, I encourage you, open the door to the Lord Jesus Christ. Spend time communing with Christ Jesus. Repent of the lukewarmness and ask the Lord to ignite that spiritual fire in your heart so that you can get back on track. Uh, with this exciting relationship that Jesus wants to have with those who trust in him. And with that, I encourage you to seek the help of the Lord and, and, and to ask for that power from the Holy Spirit who is here to help us so that we can continue to fight the good fight of faith, all for the glory of God.